Hello guys, how's it going? And as those who be here with learn to trade with ease. And so if you are new here, you're welcome. And uh, if you are not in our Telegram community, it's Traders Hub Community on Telegram. So Traders underscore Hub Community. All right, so without wasting my time, let's jump into the chat and see what we have for today. Welcome to the further session. I'm recording the session. Okay. No problem, sir. Thank you. So now, we are starting a new day, right? How do we start our day? Now, I want you to guide me through it. The first thing is, when you take your vertical line, where do you put your vertical line? I should share the screen. No, I'm sharing my screen. I think the network went okay, off. Okay, okay. Well. So now let's start our okay. day. There's a new trading day. Now, if if okay. we take our vertical line, right? Where do we place our vertical line? We are starting a new day and we've taken our vertical line. Where do we place our vertical line? We place our vertical line on the start of the day. Correct, which is, which is 6 a.m. Yes, 6 a.m. Good. That is the first thing we do. And then when what do we do again? We mark out what? Our horizontal. Good. So the Asian high. And the Asian low. Correct. So we mark out the Asian high. And we mark out the Asian low. And why are we marking out the Asian high and the Asian low? So uh, we are marking out the Asian high and Asian low so we will know our range. Good. And then we we'll also get to know our bias, whether we'll be buying yeah. today or we'll be selling today. Yes, exactly. So now, yes, after sir. that, ours is to just wait. So trading is a patient game. It's a waiting game. We are waiting to see what the market will do. What card will the market serve us? What play will the market play? Will it go to the downside or to the upside? And then based on that, we are going to say, okay, today then we are going to be buyers or today we are going to be sellers. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Good. So you see that the market has taken out the Asian low. Okay. So now, because of this move, our bias is that we will be buying today. Do we okay. buy? We see a bullish candle. Do we buy? We should wait for a uh, bullish uh, fair value gap. Thank you. Thank you. That is This is the most important thing. And this is what a lot of people miss. They take the trade when they see a bullish candle. But the bullish candle is not confirmation. The fair value gap is the confirmation. Are you getting it? The fair value gap is confirming that behind yes. the scene, there is an influx of buying orders or buy trades in the market. Is that okay? And so we want to wait. Yes, sir. We've seen another bullish candle. Do we enter our buy? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, now there's a fair value gap. Thank you. So now this is when we are going to say, hey, it's time for us to take our first trade. Do we get it? Yes, sir. And so... We are going to use this fair value gap. So when you have a fair value gap, the market has the potential of pulling back just to tap the tip of the fair value gap or the middle of the fair value gap or the extreme end of the fair value gap. Are you getting it? But yes, sir. you don't know which part the market will decide to what, touch. It can decide to touch the tip or the middle or the extreme. You don't know. And so what we go with, we are going to take 50% of the fair value gap. Okay. And then we are going to sit and wait and say that, Mr. Market, perhaps if you are able to come, activate us on the 50% of this fair value gap. So what are we doing? Are we buying or we are selling? Will we be buying, Eddie? 
we are uh, buying, but Good. we are waiting so, for a confirmation of the fair value gap. So now you are going to take a long position, and then we come and put it here, a long position. We come and put it on the fair value gap, the 50% area of the fair value gap. Okay. And then we are waiting. Mm -hmm. Then we go for our one history story. Okay. So it means our stop loss is below here. Then I'll take profit as about here. But I want this to three. So here, okay. if you are risking hundred dollars, the outcome of this trade, the potential okay. outcome of this trade is you lose hundred dollars or you make three hundred dollars, and that is it. And the potential is not only that you are going to win. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So when you enter the trade, accept that okay. I'm going to lose hundred dollars. I'm going to make three hundred dollars. Is that okay? That is a one is to reward. Yes, sir. So if we have a second fair value gap, then we are also going to take the second fair value gap. Are you getting it? We are not going to be yes, selective. We are not going to assume that the market will come to this fair value gap. No, you don't know. In the life market, you don't know. Yours is to keep executing your edge when you see it. If we have a second and a third fair value gap, we are going to take it. And now we, we have built a system around the fact that we only take three trades in a day. Even if we have six setups or seven or ten setups, we only take the first three setups in a day and we are done. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Good. So now, we see what the market do. Will it come back down or keep going up without activating us? We don't know. The market what will tell. Do we see we have another fair value gap? Okay, okay, yes. There's another Good. fair value gap there. So now we have our second trade for a buy. So again, we come, we take our 50%. And then we say we are going long. So the 50% of the fair value gap. That's why we select. Is that okay? And then we go for our one to three. Yeah. Good. So whether if the market will activate the, the first or the second fair value gap, we don't know. We don't know. We are not magicians. We don't know. The market will do its thing. Ours is to keep executing our edge when it shows up. Is that okay? Okay. So then, when we do this, we have two limit orders. We have a buy limit for the first fair value gap and another buy limit for the second fair value gap. See, the market did not activate us, but it keeps going up. Do not force the market. Do not chase the market. Do not say that. Do we see we have a third fair value gap? You see okay. it. So it means now we can take our last okay. trade. This is our last trade for the day because we expose ourselves to three trades maximum in a day. And why are we taking this trade? Because this trade align with our bias for the day. Our bias for the day is we are going to be what? Bias. And so if we get a setup that is saying that it is time to buy, then go ahead and buy. You are not going to second guess yourself whether it is going to hit your stop loss or hit your take profit. You are not concerned about that. You already have information or data backing you, telling you that, hey, if you trade like this, in the long run, it's going to go in your favor. So you do not despair when you are in a losing trade. Yours is to keep executing as long as the conditions for a trade have been met. Is that okay? So as it stands, yeah. we have the buy limit for today. And then we are done. Whatever the market will do to the close of the day, we don't know. So at the end of the day, after we take our three trades, have it in the back of your mind that, that if I'm risking 1% per trade, that means today the probability or the statistics behind my trade is I am going to lose 3%. If all things being equal, all my trade go against me. I'm going to lose a maximum of 3% of my capital, nothing more. And all things being equal, 
If all my trades go in my favor, then I'm going to make what? 9%. Because every trade is giving me a 3% gain and a 1% loss. Is that okay? Are you following? Are you following? Eddie, are you following? Eddie. Hello, Eddie. Are you here? Hello, Eddie. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you now. Okay. So now, are you following? So, yes, sir. So can you see we have three trades for the day? Okay. We yeah. are three trades for, for today, yes. Yes. And per each trade, how much are you risking on each trade? One is to three. Good. So one, it means if we lose, we lose 1%. If we win, we make 3%. Is that okay? Why is the internet doing like this? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. if if we win, if we win all our three trades, what's the percentage you are going to gain? If we what sir? Because if we if we win if, all our three trades. Okay, we're getting um if we lose hundred to get three hundred for our three trades, we're getting nine hundred. Correct. Is that okay? So now, yes, sir. so now we take the trade and we don't know what will happen. So we either lose or or we win or or we lose one, we win two or we lose two. We don't know. If the market hasn't played out, you can't tell what's going to happen. Yours is to find an edge, come and consistently and diligently deliver or execute that edge. You see, we have been. We have been activated on our first trade. And it's even yes. almost almost hitting our stop loss. So we just got stopped out on this. So we just lost we just lost hundred dollars. Or we just lost one percent. Okay. On our first trade. Okay. Is that okay? Now our okay. second trade has been activated. Can you see it? Yes. Good. So if you hit our stop loss or take off, we don't know. But we've already accepted the risk involved in this trade. Either yeah. it goes to hit our take profit or goes to hit our stop loss. Ours is to keep waiting. And the waiting can take up to three hours, four hours, six hours. Ours is to wait. As long as we have followed our conditions for entry and our trade has been successfully activated, then we are good to go. Is that okay? Yes, sir. No second guessing yourself. Just stick to the rules of the game. Just play by the book. Do you see we have hit take profit? Yes, take profit, yes. Our second trade just hit take profit. So this account will be up by how much? By 300. 300. But you realize we've, all, or we've already lost 100. Yes. So our account will be up by what, 200? Yes, 200. Good. But now we have one more trade to go. This last trade here. Yeah. Good. So our second trade successfully hits. Take profit. So now it's left with this trade. Right, this last trade. Yeah. So we don't know if the market will come and activate it or not. But we got three setups and we took it. All we did was we executed our three trades. As to the market coming, and then we have what one loss and one win. 
but we are in profit. Are you seeing that? Yes, sir. Good. Now, our bias for the day is what? A buy. So, we are not looking for sell, sell setups or sell trades. Every start of the day, yours is to eliminate one side. Is that okay? Have a bias for the day. Your bias is, yeah, we just got activated on the, oh, on on the first day. one. Yes, on the first yes. one. So whether we're going to hit our stop loss or take profits, we don't know. All we have to do is you have to wait. How are you getting it? So every time you start yeah. your day, you need to, you need to eliminate one side. As traders, we either buy or sell. You can't be buying and selling. Pick one side of the market. Are you getting it? So when you start your yes, day, you want to go in with a bias that today my bias is buying or my bias is selling. Do you realize that today our bias was buying, but yes, still the market is selling aggressively. You see this aggressive sell. Now our trade just hit take profit. Do you see that? Yes. Yes, sir. So then, how much profit do we gain on this one? Yes, sir. So we gain what? How much profit do we gain on this one? Oh, okay. It has hit our, our, our take profit. Correct. Correct. So now we have another... Okay, the first one was 200 plus uh, 300. That's 500. 500. And then we are done for the day. Is that okay? We didn't we didn't have to be magicians to yes. know what will happen. All we did was to have a system, a strategy, a plan, and we executed it when the conditions were met for the day. Do you see that? So the fact that we lost one trade shouldn't put us in a downward spiral or shouldn't put us in a panic. To feel that, oh, I've lost one trade. My day is messed up. No. Yours is to diligently execute your trade when the setup is ready. Is that okay? Yours is to show up, execute your trade, do what you are supposed to do, and then you are done for the day. Are you getting it? Okay. Yeah. Now, there's a fair value gap. Um, okay. Good. So, there's a fair value gap, but you, you don't take it because you've already taken your three trades for the day. Yes. So, we are done trading on this day. Even though, yes, the market keeps going in our direction, we don't take any further trades. We maximize our trades to three per day. At least we take one trade or at most we take three trades and then we are done. Either all three wins or all three loses. We don't know when the day begins. We just allow our system to play out. Is that okay? Yes, sir. And then do you see that even though, even though our bias was a buy for the day, do you see how this market was selling? At this point, it started selling. It went high and started selling, it's coming so, yeah. back, coming back, coming back to where our first trade was. So even though a day could be a buying day, you are still going to see selling activities. Even though a day could be a selling day, you are still going to see buying activities. So yours is to pick one side. Where your system tells you to take, take your trade to, you take the trade in that direction. Is that okay? Are we good? Yes, sir. Good. So, is there any question? Do you have any question? Yes, sir. Do you have any question? Uh, no. No, no question. Good. No. So, now no let's question. go. Now let's go. Let's go to today's market. And then we don't do anything special. We don't do anything different. It's the same thing we are doing. Day in, day out. Is that okay? 
So we want to check, check your chat if you see a fair value gap. Check on your phone. Check on your phone and see. No favor look up from here yet. Okay, I'm seeing a favor look up now. Correct. So what how do we trade today? Today we come on our chat and then 6 a.m. We are on our chat. And what do we do? We mark our high, Asian high. Well, Asian high. And then we also mark our Asian low. Do you see this? Yeah. And then we wait to see. Did the market break to the up or to the down? To the upside. To the app. So today, are we buyers or we are sellers for today? We are sellers. Good. And so if you are sellers, what do we have to wait for? If a, um, bull, a bearish fair value gap. Correct. And so what do we have here? A bearish fair value gap. And so we take our two and then we look for the 50% of this bearish fair value gap. And this is where we are going to take what? Our uh, sell. Favor, Good. Yeah. So now that we have that, this is where we are going to take our sell from. Yeah. If the candle is fully formed, are you getting it? This is, we are taking it too early. Why? Because the candle is still forming. Oh, it's yeah. left with 11 minutes. So after 11 minutes, if this fair value gap is confirmed, then we are going to take this trade. Is okay. that okay? So right now, what are we doing? All we are doing is we are waiting for the next 10 minutes to see if this fair value gap is confirmed or the market can decide to change its mind and close up this fair value gap in the next 10 minutes. Or we don't know. We don't know. Honestly, we don't know what the market will decide to do in the next 10 minutes. So all we have to do is to wait. And if after 10 minutes, we have a confirmed fair value gap, then we are going to execute our trade. Is that okay? Okay, so good. So now let me if you have any questions, let me know please. Okay, so for uh this ten thousand dollar account size, yes. Guys, uh what what lot size do you do you suggest I, I use? So right now I want you to start with a 0 0.50 lot size. Zero point five. Yeah. 0 0.50. 0. 0. Okay, 0. 0.50. Yes. 0. You should enter just one trade, right? So one trade, no. So if the fair value gap is just one for the day, you take only one. But if it is two, you take two. Is that okay? Okay. So what you are trying to do is, so if you are taking three, three if you use... If you use 15 pip stop loss and every trade, on every trade, right? You are. If you use 15, 15 pips stop loss on every trade. If you use 15 pip stop loss on every trade, then if you are using a 0 0.5, that means that if you lose, you are going to lose $75. I get to it. Yes, sir. And then if you win, you are going to make $225. That is a one is to three. So whatever amount you are risking, you are aiming to make three. You are aiming to make what? Five. Three times of that. Is that okay? Uh -huh. So if you are willing to lose $75 per trade, then it means on the other side, you are going to make $225 on that trade. So let's say you are taking 75 times three trades in a day. 
So it means in a day you are risking 225, 225 dollars in a day. So in a day, you don't want to see that you have you have lost more than 225. At 225, you are done for the day. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. And so right now, so when, if this fair value gap is confirmed, you are going to enter a sell limit with a 0 0.5 lot size. And, and this is the same trade I'm going to take today. You see, with this strategy, when the setup is confirmed, it's confirmed across board. It doesn't matter if you're in the US, the UK, Canada, Nigeria, South Africa. We all see the same thing at the same time. Is that, is that okay? Because we are using a, stand, a standard playbook. It is the same thing. When I saw a fair value gap, you check your chart, you also see a fair value gap. When I saw the high being broken, you check your chart, you also see the high being broken. Because we are using definite parameters. We are saying that we are coming on our chart at 6 a.m. And we are watching for the whole Asian range. The Sydney session of the Asian range. Either the high or the low to be broken. In this case, the high got broken. And then we are waiting. So right now we have about six minutes to confirm our trade. If we are good to take this trade, we will know. If the fair value gap closes, then it means you don't have a trade. We have to wait again until a new fair value gap is formed. Are we good? Yes, sir. Good. So right now we are literally waiting. If you have any question, you let me know. Okay. Um can you can we also use this this same strategy? To uh to trade um FMC. What's FMC? Or um, uh, sorry, um uh, those news, those okay, um, okay, news. and NFP, non-farm payroll. Yes, NFP. Yes, yes, it works. You see, yours is not to concern about the news, yours is to concern about the execution of the strategy. Okay. Are you getting it? So today, even if there is news. We are not looking at the news. We are looking at the conditions for our trade to be triggered. If there is news, the news will, come, will probably propel our trade to even hit take profit quicker. Is that yes. okay? So even yes, if there are news baked in the day, our concentration or our trade entry or our trade activation is not dependent on the news. Our trade and our our activity on the chart is based on our system, which is we have to wait for a liquidity of the Asian high to be grabbed. And we have to see a fair value gap in our directional bias, and then we execute our trade. Whatever effect the news has is just part of the whole system. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Uh, so yours is not that. Oh, because there's the news now, you're coming to jump on your chart to do anything. No, you do your things from the start of the day and you allow the day to play out. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Jude, Jude, Jude is just going wild on the chart. He's just going just exponential. Yesterday was a very good day for him on gold. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Now now I call him gold can come. Because that's what he has just decided <laughs> to focus on. I'm like, nah, he's killing it. So his strategy. Yes. That's the same strategy. You seen it, executing it flawlessly. I did meet uh, some some dollars yesterday though. Yeah. But I after because I closed very early. So when I saw another fair value gap, I thought it was going to uh, continue. Then I entered the trade again. What happened? I the thing Reverse. it was almost yeah, it was almost the uh, the dawn of the day. So yeah. 
Good, 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 good. Let me tell you another point. Your trade should end by the close of the day. Are you getting it? Don't carry your trade into the next okay. day. Don't carry your trade into the next day. When New York session closes, close your trade. So let's say New York session will close at 9 p.m. Nigerian time. So by 8.50 or 8.55, close your trade. Even if I'm on a loss? Even if you're on a loss or in a profit, close your trade. On the ProFirm account, you see, we deal with equity and margin drawdown. So if you want to okay. carry your, like Monday's effect into Tuesday, you are going to short change yourself for Tuesday. Because every day you have a maximum of 5%. So you don't want to carry the baggage of the previous day into the new day. So you want to end your day by the close of that trading day. Is that okay? okay. Good. So always, yes, you know that you have this range. It's it's like 12 hours or even 16 hours of trading period. Yours is too. I'm trading from the London Open to the New York close. And I believe Nigeria will be like around 9, 9 p.m. There. About. It was about, uh, about 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Eight. Okay, good. Eight. So maybe Ghana will be 9. And I don't know, like the time, the time confusing, but at the end of the day, <laughs> when the New York, when the New York session closes, just, just secure your trade. Is that okay? And so every new day you are starting your balance on your profit account, you have what? At least you have a 5% drawdown to play with. Are we good? So we have we have one minute and it looks like this fair value gap is going to be confirmed. Okay, so if it's confirmed, then this is how our trade is going to look like. And you see, it is so automatic that you have the same entry. I also have the same entry. And then go for a one is to three if they work. My one is to three is I use a 13.5 pip stop loss and a 40.5 pip take profit. Is that okay? And so in this case, if I'm using a one lot size for my trade, I understand that I'm going to lose $135. And if I win, I'm going to make $405. Is that okay? okay. And that is a one is to three. So eight seconds, seven seconds. And it looks like we are confirmed on this trade. And so this is going to be our trade for the day. This is going to be our first trade. Our first trade for the day. So I'm going to screenshot it right now. And then I'll post it in the community. And it's like, okay. hey, this is the trade you are taking. So take your ProFirm account, open, and then execute this trade. So you know that the entry My is 1.09218. Uh, Euro USD, right? Yes, Euro USD. Nothing else but Euro USD. Okay. The entry. 1.09218. Uh, so you are going to use a sell limit, a sell limit order. Okay, so limit order. Okay, entry should be what? Hello guys, how's it going? NSO Subedi Akun here. And this is the year you learn how to trade a financial market. A lot of people have been asking to sell with me, come in person, and this is the year I make it happen. So you have the opportunity to come and sell with me, come and learn how to trade the financial market, learn to trade a cryptocurrency market, learn to trade a forex market, learn to trade a stocks market. Are you getting it? and you have the opportunity to do so with me. So catch you inside, peace out.